Welcome back to SV Basic. You know, we had a busy couple of days. Got those rudders installed last week, along with all the linkage. And I'm still just taking it all in. Looks like everything's just lining up the way it's supposed to. Next thing is tackle this hydraulic system. We need to get this thing buttoned up. The hydraulic cylinder was tarnished. All the hoses were corroded. So first thing we need to do is get some new hoses. So Lynn and I are gonna head off to the hydraulics supply and have some new hoses made up. Good morning guys. We're taking another trip to the, another store. Yep. <laughs> Starting to uh, work on our hydraulic line. Yep. So we need new ones. So we're gonna check out this place and see if they can help us out. What's funny is this is like literally two miles from us and we had no clue. It's amazing how many little businesses there are in Seattle when you start digging around. It's nice. Let's hope they have everything. I think they will. This place is pretty cool because after we have figured out what we needed, they are going to crimp it right here while we wait. Yeah, it's a pretty sweet setup here. Okay, new hoses. They said 15, 20 minutes, we'll have them. Should I start timing? <laughs> Let's put a timer and put a little pressure on them. Series. Right. And then different sizes. So they got a four, five, six, eight, ten, twelve. These are in sixteenths. So twelve sixteenths, ten sixteenths, eight sixteenths. I gotcha. And um, different series. So the one we're working with is an MS for marine steering. You just, and what are these? What is this piece called? This is called the die. Okay. Okay. And the die is going to be. It's tapered on one side and straight on the other, so as it gets pushed in, it, the taper draws it together I, I and gotcha. crimps the thing down. And then we use a little push ring on top of it. And then... Uh, how about tomorrow morning? Today. Okay. Okay, Anson, thank you so much for all your help. No problem. Okay. Appreciate the business. Well, let's, let's get back to basic and then get this installed. Who's carrying all this? I'll, <laughs> you know I mean? I'll I'm just kidding. Oh. Okay, perfect. Well, I gotta say, this was a perfect place to come. Marcos and Anson just really took their time, helped us out, got the pieces we needed, and made our hoses right on the spot. So, we, we are tickled. Let's get back to the boat and get these installed. Okay, now that we have our new hydraulic lines, time to get these installed. Okay, there's five different ports coming off the bottom of this Capilano pump. This will be the port and starboard for the cylinder, port and starboard for the autopilot. I also have a compensation line that runs the autopilot as well. So let's start with the cylinder and get those lines in. Okay, you comfortable down there? 
So let's start feeding this down to you. Yeah, put it right up against the wall. Okay. Okay, we only have like 35 feet to go. <laughs> Funny. Okay, we're almost to the end here. <laughs> Deal. <laughs> okay, we got just about another foot and a half. How's it going? It's fine, but I wasn't expecting you right there. Is that enough? Uh, almost, about another six inches, maybe. Okay. Right? Put it right there. Stop right there. Okay. okay, first one's in. Not too bad, huh? Not bad. Okay, one more of these monsters go in. Got these labeled before so we don't mix them up in route. Okay, this one will be a little tighter going through now that you have a little bit less room. Okay, there's the first foot, 35 to go. Okay, I got the knuckle past the bulkhead. Okay, good. I think I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, keep going, we're almost there. About another 15 feet. Oh my gosh, what a workout. Okay, that should do it. Now we can make this connection. The hydraulic leads that go to the cylinder is in. Let's see where that goes. Okay, from the Capilano, it leads down this channel into this locker down here. It comes down, branches into here, comes around, and I have conduit that head back to different areas of the boat. That conduit starts here, runs under the stairs, under the seating, under this seat, and out into, that's the master stateroom over here. There's a crawl space behind all the lockers. Okay, out of the crawl space, it tucks in, this is in the back of the master closet, and we'll dive in back here into the sugar scoop. I got a little bit of work to do in the sugar scoop, so before I do that, I'm gonna jump onto the autopilot, get that connected. Okay, why I want to work on the hydraulic autopilot now is because I have to get this mounted in place so I could get an accurate length on making new hoses. These hoses are the wrong lengths and these are crimped on. I, I can't just reuse these hoses. I have to have them either cut down or new ones made. And I could send Lynn over to the hydraulic place to have hoses made while I continue working in the sugar scoop to make those connections on the cylinder. Okay, I just put a little diaper on the pump while I get it installed so I don't make a mess. Okay, since this pump has to be mounted horizontally and I want to put it on a vertical wall, I'm just going to build a quick mounting bracket that I could use. I'm going to build it out of starboard lumber and let's see how this turns out. And there we go. Now I can mount this to the wall. Okay. The pump for the autopilot is installed where it needs to go. Now I can take hard measurements up to the Capilano and have new hydraulic lines made. So we just got back from the hydraulic place and great news because they inspected our lines and they're in really good shape. So we're able to reuse them. We'll cut them down and use these new fittings um, to get them hooked up. So we're gonna get started right now. Okay, I'll push up and just start tightening. Okay. Can you reach it? I'm reaching. It's feeling tight. Okay, wiggle the tube and make sure. How does the tube feel below? When it's seated, you'll feel it. There's no more gaps. No more, no more. Okay. It's good. Okay, thanks. Okay, feed me the first one. Cut side down, yeah. Perfect. 
Keep coming. Well, it's hitting on something. Okay, hold on. Back it up. Okay, yeah, it's gonna work. Okay, ready? Is it going inside? It's going inside, but it's uh, not threading. I know, you gotta get the exact angle going. No, that's not the right angle at all. That's not even close. Okay, tell me where. I'll hold it wherever you need. It's slippery. Is that threaded on, do you think? I don't know yet. I gotta check it. Just be careful with that. I am. If it feels like a cross thread, stop. No, I'm not. Yeah, it's going. Okay, good. Okay, this should be the last connection for the autopilot. Okay, feels good. I'm happy with all these connections. They felt clean when they went in. There's only two more connections in this whole hydraulic system and that's down at the cylinder in the sugar scoop. So we'll hit those next. Okay, here is the hydraulic lines coming through the back of the master closet. I do have to make this hard 90 degree corner here, but I picked up these uh, 90 degree supports that keep this hose from kinking. Looks like it does a pretty good job. So let's dive back into the sugar scoop right through here and make the connections on the other side. Kind of a blustery day here on Lake Union. Wind's picked up. Boat's moving a little. We're down inside of here. Oh. Before I can make the last connection, I need to do a few things in here. I need to drill a hole down through here. I need to put a watertight fitting around this. This is a crash compartment, so I don't want water. If ever water gets into this compartment, I don't want it going into here. This here is a wet locker, so when I do drill through here, I'll need another watertight connection here. I'll be putting those in. But before I can even do that, down here on the ram, I've taken the connector out right here and I had to make this. This is the original bleeder valve. But to accept the new hoses, I had to make a few modifications. I went down and bought the pieces and assembled them. Now I'm putting them back in. It's working pretty smooth so far, so let's do the other one. It's all set up now, so now I'll drill the hole to get the hoses into this compartment. Okay, now that I have my access hole drilled, I need to get the cable seals in. Cable seals, I got them by ScanStrut. Pretty slick little systems here. It says that they give you a blank template so you could drill your own holes. And I tried to use a drill bit on this and drill my own holes, but it chewed through it, not real smooth. I did try another method. I used a canvas punch and that seemed to work much better. Okay, now it's just a matter of feeding these lines through and making the connections down here.
Okay, I'm gonna be truthful. That was difficult. But now that it's all lined up, it looks like it's gonna be perfect. Okay, the paint's dry on the wheel. Get this uh, assembled. Actually, I think I'm gonna let the girls install the wheel. I think they'll get a kick out of that. And I'll get a kick out of watching them. Okay, there's only five pieces to put the helm on. But they have to all go in, in a particular order. I think they're gonna have fun with this. The wheel's going in, and tail said that we could do it. He didn't give us any instructions and he left. So I'm thinking that Emma and I are gonna do this now. Cause how hard could it be? We have He three. left us with a challenge. <laughs> There's five little pieces. Two so we just gotta put it together, right? Yeah. Should be easy, right? Wait a minute. Does this go in first? Um I think I think that thing goes in first. Get a figuring thing. Wait, can you not put it past? Oh! Okay, so this one. No. Why would that go there? There's a key. Okay. Let's see. So that's in. Does that one go on the bottom? Check to see if it goes in the bottom. No, I don't want to make it, but I don't Oh, wait, no, so. no, no. It's up here. I don't think this fits. Okay, it's harder than we thought. Then it will come out. I don't know. No, it just sticks out. No. It, oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Okay. Uh oh. Yay! Yeah, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, the key. Oh, that's where that goes. Okay. <laughs> you need a washer. And then you put this on top of it. I think you have to use this thing. Ooh, this looks nice. How does it feel? Tight. Okay. Not too tight. Not, Not too, too tight. tight? Yeah, because he's going to have to look at it. Okay. What do you think? I think it's pretty good. It's on there. Wait, don't move it too much. We have to put the fluid through. Ooh. Good job, Emma. <laughs> Well, let's see how the girls did. I can see right now that to get the wheel on, they had to put everything in the correct order, with the exception of one glaring error. The wheel's on backwards. This should face the other direction. Oh well, it's easy fix. Having the heart to tell them, I think I'll just swap it myself. In their defense, I might have thrown them off with a hint that it goes this direction. Oh, sorry ladies. Okay, there we go. Flipped it around. Nobody needs to know. Oh. Look at that. We've had this wheel for, I don't know, a couple of years. It's been kicking around. It's finally in. Only thing left is we've got to bleed the hydraulic system now, and this will be functional. But first, we got to take Emma on a little field trip. New field trip. We're at the Museum of Flight. I've been waiting for this one for a long time. Let's go. Yeah. This place is so cool. Wow.
Okay, that was a that lot was, to see here. That was a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. What? We got you, to walk through Air Force One. Goodness. <laughs> Found out that Emma was a machine gun. <laughs> yep. Named after the Emma G. <laughs> okay, people. That was a long day. Let's I'm head. Exhausted. Let's head home. It was amazing. Emma could keep going. Yes. <laughs> We've had this wheel for, I don't know, a couple of years. Just been kicking around, it's finally in. Only thing left is we gotta bleed the hydraulic system now, and this will be functional. I think we're all set up. We have the 1250V. Looks like we need uh, just automatic transmission fluid. Type A or Dextron two or three. Oh, this is exciting. Let's get this thing filled, see if these rudders work. Good side. Looks like a juice of some sort, like cranberry. Okay, how much have you dumped in? It's about half. Okay, keep it coming. I'm gonna open it up down here. Okay. Let her keep putting that in. It takes about a three quarters of a quart to fill the pump. With all the lines and the cylinder, I would think it needs probably another quart or two. Okay, let's open up this bleeder valve and see if we can get something to start coming out. Okay, it started to come out. I could bleed the bubbles out now. This is crazy exciting. Everything seems like it's working. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. Okay, go ahead and uh, give it a sh try right now. Look at that. It actually works. Okay, stop. Bring it back. You go a little faster. Well, yeah, that's the hydraulic pump. No, it's weird. I know, it's different, huh? Look at that, okay, stop. Bring it back to center. I'll tell you when to stop. Just keep bringing it. Right about there. What do you think? I like it. Take that off the board. I'll take some pictures for the thumbnail. This is for the thumbnail, people. I think I'm a little short for this. <laughs> <laughs> I think you almost fell over. Grab the wheel like you're, you're actually... You're to stick there you go. Look at me. What do you want me to do? Smile. Just smile. I still can't believe you decided to wear a tank top. It's, it's nice out, but it's not that much. Oh, it's beautiful out here. It's nice. Okay, do you get a good one? I think so. Okay, let's wrap this up. <laughs> 